because people uh, students read again and again and again about calcification dystrophic and metastatic you will memorize it 100 times 100 times you'll forget it because you're not reading the correct way you should read i'll just give you two words and we're going to extrapolate with that two words and i make sure that you'll never ever forget these two things again right i'm just going to write two words here which i'm sure most of you know already dystrophic calcification and metastatic calcification i have two new things dystrophic and metastatic right there are two new things fine okay we'll just go to the terminology that's all nothing else this what does this means dys this means abnormal you guys know that dysphagia dysnea dysmenorrhea this means abnormal right this means abnormal meta means change perfect trophic means growth right it's growth or size something so dystrophic means abnormal tissue metastatic means change in static what is static homeostasis simple done don't write put your pens down listen to me metastatic means there's a change in the calcium homeostasis because we are talking about calcification there's a change in the calcium homeostasis that's what causes metastatic calcification clear listen carefully to me so when my change in calcium homeostasis excess calcium will cause calcification or reduced calcium will cause calcification obviously excess calcium so what will be the serum calcium in metastatic more hypercalcemia so hypercalcemia is in thing which causes calcification in different tissues okay if a, if a person has lots of calcium in the body can it get deposited anywhere in the body yes so the organs will be normal but the patient's calcium level will be more so next question is what causes more calcium level which hormone controls it parathyroid so first and the foremost causes hyperparathyroidism first will renal failure cause yes because due to renal failure i have secondary hyperparathyroidism again so renal failure can also cause right and there's something called as milk alkali syndrome we don't go into much depth about it because it is rare these are the two common causes i want you to know the two common causes fine so i'm having this calcium excess in the body it's going to get deposited in different organs which are organs they are going to get deposited is two things one based on the vascularity and one based on the ph of the organ when the ph of the organ favors calcium deposit it gets deposited right and also the vascularity two main organs kidney and lungs in these two organs calcium can get deposited obviously you guys know hypercalcemia i can have renal stones you can have microlithiasis in the lung because of very very tiny capillaries i'm just going to extrapolate with your existing knowledge nothing much ph of the organ it predisposes to deposition in the grt in the entire grt the ph changes which favors the calcium deposition so they are going to get deposition there that's an entire thing you need to know about calcification metastatic calcification shift here dystrophic abnormality in the tissue let's assume um, we are having a heart this heart has a myocardial infarction this heart has necrosis repeated necrosis when there's more and more and more and more necrosis what is the most common ion we see we saw in irreversible cell injury calcium perfect so when this heart has a necrosis at this point i am going to have more calcium am i right in saying that yes so calcium there can get accumulated yes so anywhere in the body when i have an abnormal tissue calcium can get accumulated when calcium gets accumulated here locally in that tissue do you think the serum calcium will be normal or abnormal absolutely normal no disturbance in serum calcium homeostasis is perfect but this tissue is abnormal so i'm going to have calcification done that's all that's all you need to know you can go and explain this to anyone on earth everyone will learn. everyone can learn it you don't want to be an amazing doctor or have the first mark in your university to know how knowledge about medicine 
Just you need common sense and you're all gifted with that. With that common sense and with the 